Hi, good morning everyone. Let's get started with our next topic for this training session which is about upgrade strategy, the factors which help to decide the upgrade strategy. Okay, so we will go into that particular next slide. Okay, so in this particular slide we are looking at the planning aspect of the upgrade strategy on which factors the planning depends. So one of the key factors is basically the maximum permissible downtime. That is what is the maximum amount of time for which the system can be unavailable to the users. So what is the maximum acceptable limit or maximum acceptable duration for which the system, the upgraded or uh, the pr production system can be down. So that is one key factor which helps to decide the strategy. Okay, next thing is about the size of certain database tables. So basically there are some tables which are extremely large. So this also governs the upgrade strategy basically we need to see are we ready to use icnv can we use icnv do we need to use icnv that is incremental table conversion okay so that is one factor which governs the upgrade strategy okay next factor which governs the upgrade strategy is the database backup that is we should have a database backup so we have multiple options to take a database backup that is either we can take a full backup of the entire SAP system or what we can do is if we have a complex backup technologies available we may take a clone of the system before the backup after the back after that upgrade we can take a clone basically before the up upgrade we can take clone after upgrade we can take a clone just to speed up the upgrade process okay then next is about the import of substitution set in production operation Okay, then the finally is the archive mode of the database that is can we or do we need to run the database in the archive mode for the upgrade activity. So that also governs the upgrade process because if the database is running in no archive mode that means the read write will be much faster and it will increase the performances. It will increase the upgrade process. Okay, so these are key factor which are important to decide the upgrade strategy okay the type of upgrade strategies there are two upgrade strategies which is available one is the downtime minimized strategy basically the objective is to minimize the downtime in this strategy second is the resource minimized strategy that is we don't have additional resources or additional hardware or additional disk or memory in to set up this so in that case we go for the resource minimized strategy but most common is the downtime minimized strategy. Basically the temporary SAP NWAS is used in parallel to central instance and we need more processing. Basically the system is the shadow instance is running up and uh, it's available during the uptime phase itself. Okay, Then resource minimized we have seen the upgrade strategy helps to determine how much downtime is involved. Upgrade is divided into two main phases basically the EU underscore import, the mod pop underscore trans are most important phases since they mark the start of downtime. So this is start of downtime depending on the chosen activity. Okay, then the course of the upgrade is identical to all upgrades up to the this particular phase. Okay, EU underscore import phase. Okay, resource minimized strategy starts the downtime in the EU underscore phase 1. In downtime minimized strategy, downtime begins in the phase mod prof underscore trans. Okay, let's see these strategies in a different format. Here you can see you have on this side you have your downtime minimized strategy, on this side you have your resource minimized strategy. You can see the preparation remains the same for both the strategies. Okay, then on the downtime minimized strategy, you have to take a backup here before the upgrade. Then you can, then rest of the things comes into picture. But the key thing is, this is the phase from where it is different, that is EU underscore import one. So in this phase, in the downtime minimized phase, this all this activity happens in the uptime phase, that is. SPDD, distribution, activation, ICNV, import delta, all this happens in the uptime phase. Okay, then you take a backup and then uh, consider or upgrade this system. 
so here you can see that this phase mod prof underscore trans this phase is same in both the systems okay but the both the systems is basically the timelines are different for each activity say for example each activity will take different time depending on the type of activity okay so that is about the different strategies now let's compare the upgrade strategies so first thing is downtime minimized it's basically a short downtime it's mini minimum medium amount of space required if you need to recover the database and this is an advantage and next is resource minimized basically there is no additional system resources during upgrade no additional space requirement for enabling possible database recovery and disk capacity for the possible database recovery is not monitored okay in the downtime minimized phase the disadvantage is that increased demand on system resources due to parallel operations of production and shadow system no offline backup required after upgrade if archiving deactivated at some stage disk capacity for the possible database recovery is monitored okay some of the disadvantage of resource minimized is you have a long downtime it's very long time term because most of the things takes place in the up uptime phase only offline backup required after upgrade okay now downtime minimized and upgrade strategy defines downtime and resource usage with archiving mode specified separately so depending on whether we need to go for uh, downtime minimized phase or uptime or the resource minimized phase is depending on the requirement so during downtime minimized phase the key concern is the downtime and during the resource minimized phase the key concern is the resource basically we can live with running both the systems in parallel the backup the actual system and the shadow system so during downtime minimized all actions are adjusted to reduce the downtime to a minimum the strategy requires more than memory and cpu then resource minimized the load on the system during uptime is reduced thus the total runtime of the upgrade is lower resource minimized phase the shadow system is started not in parallel to the production system once while the production operation need to be stopped before the system before the shadow system is started okay so that is on the downtime minimized and the resource minimized phase here you can see that this is a prepare phase the import phase shadow phase switch phase and the backup phase so the archiving is on during this process and during the downtime phase the archiving is switched off okay what factors decide which upgrade strategy you are going to use so you should decide when to begin preparations for the upgrade when to begin the upgrade you need to specify all cd mount points at start of an upgrade for early locking of an workbench if and when to back up the db after the upgrade to extend time for import of substitution set and when production operation remains resumes basically these are the factors which help to decide which upgrade strategy we should go for okay at the latest start preparing for the upgrade a week before starting the upgrade okay so if possible do not resume production operations until all of the necessary follow up activities have been performed the same applies to the complete backup of the system which is a requirement for resuming production operation in case of upgrade strategy resource minimized in the case of downtime minimized you should consider to perform an online backup this has the advantage that all database changes resulted from the follow up activities are included in the complete backup okay in this screen you can see the different stages and what activities happens in which stage you can see that there is a prepare phase there is a import and there is a shadow import phase okay so you can compare the map basically import phase what things happen shadow phase what are things happening and switch phase what are things happening okay the objective here is to minimize the downtime all right then that's what i wanted to cover in this particular training session thank you for joining and have a nice day bye bye